Uh, today we are going to discuss a question paper that was done uh, earlier last month. So that was the July series 2023 uh, survey one for building in civil, building uh, so diploma in building and uh, diploma in civil, and also diploma in architect. Uh, that was question two B, and as you can see, uh, let's go ahead and we tackle the question yeah thanks for everyone for those who have been subscribing and for the newcomers uh keep on on the channel i'll make sure to provide you the right content uh every moment you need it uh the question goes by uh the following data were obtained after performing a reciprocal leveling so these questions were not uh, seen as much so when you look at uh, the previous uh, years, uh, this question was observed yeah, and, uh, earlier 2010 there. So after which uh, this question was rarely said, but they decided to bring it back. So let us tackle and we see what you can do. Uh, the level at A, uh, level at A, reading on staff C, uh, that is... Uh, 2.46 meters uh, level at a again uh, uh, reading on staff d that is 1.28 meter uh, level at p reading on staff d uh, that is 2.23 meters and level at b reading on staff at c that is 3.45 meters uh, let's go directly to the solution I have illustrated the table. Uh, you can observe the table. So there, our instrument was placed at A, and the readings were taken uh, both at C and D, and also the instrument was placed at B, and the same was done. The reading were taken at C and D. So that is all about the reciprocal uh, leveling. So after this question, make sure you go and read a lot on the same and you understand uh, more uh, in the first uh, uh, setting that is where the instrument was placed at a the apparent level so the difference in the levels between c and d so the instrument observed uh, the level at c and also observed the level at d uh, we take our value I'm going to take my largest uh, in order for me to subtract and get a, a more easy different uh, answer. So that is 2.4, uh, 6 minus 1.28. Uh, getting uh, So when you subtract that, uh, our answer becomes 1.18 meter. That is the apparent difference between uh, C and D uh, when the instrument was set up at A. And in the second setting where the instrument was set up at B, point B, the apparent difference of level between C and D will do the same. I'm going to take uh, my highest uh, value subtracted by the, my lowest value. That is 3.45 minus 2.23, uh, getting a total of 1.22 meters. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, since the two apparent uh, differences are not equal, you can observe they are not equal, uh, the line of collimation is not in adjustment. So that is the line of collimation, that is the where our line of axis uh, is seen also. So the line of collimation is not in adjustment because the two apparent differences one of different uh, readings. Uh, the true difference of the level um, between C and D, that will be our first uh, solution, the answer that we are getting there, 1.18 plus 1.22 uh, and the addition of those two will divide by 2 in order for us to find the mean and after doing that our answer becomes 1.2 uh, meters. Uh, we can observe from our values, so there was a fall from D to C, you can see there. Uh, in this question paper, we are only told to determine the true difference in height between C and D. 
and that is the true difference that we had uh, we have gotten there uh, this question is 12 marks that was a lot of marks for such a simple thing uh, but we can go on further they may ask you later maybe in another series so i've done a further solution you can see there so the correct reading at d um, that will be uh, when you look at our table there the correct reading at d i'm using uh, when the instrument was at when the instrument was placed at b so either way when you use at a it provides you the same answer so i'm going ahead i'm going to use uh, where the instrument was placed at d observing c and d so the correct reading at d is equals to 2.23 as you can see there so this is because the level uh, we took the level that was near at d in order for us to to find the solution so the correct stuff reading at c yeah the c uh, the correct reading at C, uh, our instrument is still at B. So B, observing C, uh, we can look at uh, there. So let me see. So the correct, uh, the correct reading should be, so you add the value that you had at B plus the true difference that we had gotten earlier. That is 2.23 plus 1.2. Uh, getting a total of 3.4 3 meters uh, but we can observe uh, from our reading uh, the observed stuff reading at C was 3.45 you can see there on the table so where uh, the instrument uh, instrument is at B uh, because that was the observed stuff uh, reading but uh, we have gotten the correct stuff reading there as three point uh, four three, uh, we go ahead and we less that correction. Uh, when we less that, uh, so the line of collimation is inclined downwards. Uh, that we have gotten from our observations there, and then the amount of collimation error will be uh, the answer that we had the observed stuff reading. That is three point four five minus the correct stuff reading of c that is 3.43 getting our collimation error as 0 0.02 meters uh, you can go ahead and you do the same for uh, when the instrument was at a uh, observing d and c uh, the collimation error will remain the same 0 0.02 meter so either way uh, both observation gives us the same collimation error uh, thank you for watching uh, that will be all and uh, hope to see you again